Hello everyone. In this video I will explain global state routing. Global state routing actually based on link state routing. The only difference between global state and link state routing protocols is that in link state routing protocol flooding is used to send link state packets to every node in network whereas GSR actually send LS packet to only its neighbors. So uh, hence they reduce the size of uh, sorry hence they reduce uh, data which has to be transmitted control packet which has to be transmitted in network and uh, that's why they reduce bandwidth consumption for transmitting control packets. So first we will be having a brief idea about link state routing. So in link state routing actually every node will send its own knowledge to other node so every node share its own knowledge to its neighbors and that information actually flooded in the network so for example let's say b is connected to a and d node so b actually sent this information to its neighbor and these neighbor in turn again broadcast this information so there will be a huge amount of control packet transmission and after uh, completion of this scenario every node will be having a complete knowledge of topology so after then they can calculate shortest path for a particular destination okay so in global state routing every node will send its ls link state information to only its neighbors now here we will see every node actually maintain one list and three tables so we will see one by one what are the usage of this information and how they are stored how they are uh, updated and how actually they got th that information so we are assuming this network let's say we are having a simple network so node a will be having a adjacency list so this list actually will store neighbors which node are neighbor of node a so node a is having two neighbors b and d the next table this table is known as topology table and this table actually stored ls information so whenever a link state information received from neighbor this table will be updated this table will accumulate all ls information received from neighbor and seq this information actually this is a sequence number and this number will specify how fresh that information is so we can use that sequence number as a time and third one is next hope table that table actually used to route packets to a destination and the last one is the distance table this table actually provide distance between node a and other node of network so in route calculation this table is actually used so here we will see how this information actually received by node how they make their tables so initially they are having all tables empty they won't be any information now whenever a node transmit any packet all of its neighbors can hear that packet doesn't matter whether those neighbors are destination of send packet or not so let's say we are taking here one example node b is sending one data packet to c so there this this packet will be having entry destination c so sender b so when this packet is sent this packet is actually sent to node a as well because node a also in the range of node b so whenever a node hears some packet those node will check the sender who is the sender so from this packet node a will find out this packet is sent by node b and then no, node a will reduce that b must be my neighbor so in this way every node will accumulate its adjacency list okay so now here we are having a format for all tables we are considering this for node a initially all tables are empty so this node this is the next hope table so a will be having next hope for a a itself and this is the distance table so initially a is not having any idea about any other 
node in the network so you know that distance to me is zero except me distance to every other node is infinity because it is not having any idea right now and link state table link state table this table actually store information coming from other neighbors with sequence number so we will see working of this one how it works so whenever a link state packet received so let's say these are three tables of node a so when a will receive some link state information for from node b so from here a will find out b is my neighbor and b a will update this information in here as well so what it will do first uh, first of all it will store this information that this packet is coming from node b it will set b as a neighbor and the similar yeah, consider same scenario for node c as well when node c will send a link state packet that packet also will be received by node a and node a will find out c is also my neighbor so a will store this information in the adjacency list that b and c are my neighbor so they are neighbor of a and uh, so we can we can say that distance between a and b and distance between a and c is 1 so this distance table will be updated so here if you can see this distance table will be updated and a will add this information in its topology table that b and c are my neighbors and this one is actually specifying the sequence number so we are considering this information first time updated so this will be one and whenever there will be a updation and when or whenever this node a going to send this information to another node this sequence number will be increased so topology table is updated distance table is updated and here next hope table also updated so now node a is having that if a packet has to be sent to node b send it to b so for b b is no next hope so they are direct neighbor of a okay so here we are taking the complete example so at a initially every node is having idea only about its neighbor so node b b knows that a and d are my neighbor so it will store this information in topology table it will store this information in next hope as well and it will store this information in distance as well like a is one hop away b is one hop away and c about c b is not having any idea so it will put infinity now global state routing how it works every node will send its topology table to its neighbors let's say for example a will send its information this topology table to node b and c so instead of flooding this message this information will be broadcasted to neighbors only and it will reduce control packet which are transmitted in network so let's say these information sent to node b and c so first of all we will see how node b will update its tables so when b will receive this information first of all b will check its own topology table and we will find out that for destination a there is no link state information so b first of all store this information in its topology table okay so this information this topology table is updated second thing b will find out that a is having two neighbors b and c so we will deduce this thing that c can be reachable from node a so in next hope it will put a for next hope for node c so this information updated here for c node a will be considered next hope if we want to send any data to c we will forward that packet to a and b to a distance is 1 and c is a neighbor of a so this distance will be updated here it it will be 2 so this is the way how their tables are updated and same will happen with node c node c will update its topology table then it will update its next hope table that 
B can be reachable from node A. From this information, C will find out that A is having two neighbors. So we can reach B by you going through A. So next hop table will be updated and distance table will be updated. So after some time, after the exchange of these topology table, every node will be having a complete knowledge of network. So these are the final tables. So now if they want to send any data, they will consult their next hop table and they will forward their data. Thank you very much for watching.